Hello everybody and welcome to another video. This is the second and last part of the Flexbox Froggy where you learn about the Flexbox by playing a game. I'll leave in the description box the URL for the game as long as my solution. Level 1 through uh, 13 is on my previous video which I will also leave in the description box. So now I'm going to get started from level 14. Sometimes reversing the row or column order of a container is not enough. In these cases, we can apply the order property to individual items. By default, items have uh, a value of 0, but you can uh, this property to set it to a positive or negative integer value. Alright, so I'm going to use order and I will give it a property of 3. And that seems to be correct. Level uh, 15, use order once again. Okay, let's take order. And maybe this time is going to be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, uh, minus 5. And that also seems to be correct. Level 16. Another property you can apply to individual item is align self. Let's copy and paste that. This property accepts the same values as align items and its value for the specific item. So align items takes flex start and center baseline and stretch. So I think now uh, flex and is going to do the trick. Great. So level. Combine order and align self to help the frogs to their destination. I'm going to begin with um, align self and I'm going to give it a property of flex end. And then I'm going to continue with order and this time I'm going to give it a property of 3. And that also seems to be correct. Great! I like this game. Um, oh no, the frogs are all squeezed uh, into a single row of lily pads, spread them out using the flex wrap property which accepts the following values. No wrap, wrap and wrap reverse. Alright, I'm going to have my flex wrap and then I'm going to use the wrap property that as it says here, items wrap around to additional lines. And that's exactly what I wanted. Level 19. Help this army of frogs uh, for three orderly columns using a combination of flex direction and flex wrap. Let's start with flex combination. And um, I will give it a column. And as for flex wrap. I'm going to give it um, a wrap. Yes, awesome. So, level 20. The two properties flex direction and flex wrap are used so often together that our shorthand property flex flow has created to combine them. This shorthand property accepts the value of one of the two properties separated by a space. Okay, so I'm going to use flex flow and then oh, let me think that for a while. First I'm going to have the column, then space and uh, wrap I guess. Okay. Level 21. The frogs are spread all over the pond but the lily pads are bounced at the top. You can use a line content to set how multiple lines are spread apart from each other. This property takes the following values. Flex start and center space between, space around and stretch. Okay, so I'm going to have the align content. But I see here that there is already the flex wrap wrap. So now as for my content, I'm going to have the flex start property yes i love that level 22 now the current has bunched uh, the little pads at the bottom use align content 
align content and um, this time I'm going to use flex and and that also seems to be the case as for level 23 the frogs have had a party but it's time to go home mm -mm. use a combination of flex direction and align content to get them to their lily pads Okay, I'm going to start with uh, flex direction and once again I can see that I have a flex wrap, wrap so now for the flex direction I'm going to have the column uh, reverse and then as for the line content I'm going to have um, a center I guess oops sorry center Okay, that's nice. Let's go to level 24. Bring, uh, bring the frogs home one last time by using the CSS properties you've learned. Um, okay, the only thing that I got here is display flex. But I'm going to start with flex direction. And uh, column reverse. Uh, then I'm going to continue with flex wrap and wrap reverse. Maybe it would be better if I do it like this for readability. So align content is going to be space between. And then the okay. I need something more. Yes, it is justify content and center. Okay, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this short video about uh, Flexbook Froggy. We did it, and I will leave all the solutions in the description box. If you did like the video and find it helpful, please consider sharing and subscribe. Thank you very much and have a great, great day.